Hello, Year Nines. How are you guys? Welcome to Mr. Chen's classroom again, and welcome to Term Four. Uh, I have tried something new over the holidays. Uh, one of the new way to record your lessons. Um, uh, so hope you enjoyed this one. Um, uh, and I even have a little bit of background music going. Uh, let me know if it is. Too, uh, noisy, or should I turn it down and stuff? Okay, oh, it is all good. So let's get into it. So welcome back to term four. So this term we will only have nine weeks, and um, there are two main topics that we'll be covering. This is the first one: a uh, congruence and similar triangle, and followed by uh, it will go for about three. To four weeks, hopefully uh three weeks because we have quite a few things to do, and then after that we will be looking at statistics. Okay, uh, statistics will be going for the rest of the term. The term. So there are two assignments uh for this uh for this term. The majorly is uh. Actually, a test and an assignment. Test will be on your congruence and similar triangle, followed by test this uh, uh as a big assignment for the statistics. So let's get into it. Congruence and similar triangle. You might have heard of this in year eight because uh, you actually have learned them uh, last year. But for this uh lesson, we will actually do a little bit of uh refreshing refreshment for your. To see if you can remember it or not. So, uh, there are a few keywords. Let's look at this. So we have congruence triangles, side side side. If you still remember what they are, side angle side, and actually we have a uh, angle side angle, a uh, right angle hypotenuse uh, side. Rotation, reflection, and translation. We'll be covering all eight of these. Okay, uh, you have actually learned all of this before. So let's begin. What is congruence triangle? Congruence triangle. Congruence stands for uh, exact same. Okay. So in this situation, congruence triangle uh, means triangles means uh, exactly the same. Three sides and exactly the same three angles. Okay, so you need to have uh. So that means this if you have you comparing between two triangles in order to be a congruent triangle, they need to all have the same angle on three sides. As we know, the angle they all add up to one eighty. Yeah, and the side means the, the length of each of the side has to be exact. Okay, so there are three different uh, way you can have a congruent triangle, which is uh, shown here. First one is your rotation, so you can actually rotate them, and it's gonna still be the same. Uh, remember congruent triangle that. They don't have to be. They can be flipped upside down or going sideways, okay, or flip ninety degree apart. All right, which is called reflection. And you're gonna have to kind of use your brain to use your imagination to actually imagine where it is if you flip it back to its original form, okay. So there are three of them. Uh, you probably have heard of these. Three before a uh, rotation, reflection, and translation. So if you look here, remember, it you kind of congruent triangle kind of like remind you of a piece of mirror you put in between them. Okay, so you uh that piece of mirror actually allowed you to see the congruent triangle the way it moves. To make it look clearer, so if you look at the rotation here, 
we actually uh the two congruent triangle actually just like rotate rotate and you can see that red line it become a blue line now that's your mirror okay so it's kind of where it rotates okay and reflection look at it is an exact uh, reflection of the two uh, the two congruent so if you can see look at each of these dot the distance is actually exactly the same if you actually calculate them and the third one we have translation translation means you just moving it up or down okay without rotating no rotation okay and it is still going to be a, a congruent triangle one way if it is on the grid you just need to count the distance between them they are the same not three of them so you have to kind of draw them and then see if they're symmetrical or not okay so remember congruent figures have exact same size and shape okay in year 8 we show the congruent figure are produced by an isometric transformation of translation okay reflection or rotation if two figures are congruent, we can use one or more isometric transformation to move one figure exactly on the top of the other. So you can, from uh, it shows here, you can move them, rotate them, they're still going to be the same. Okay? So, now that uh, you have heard of that, you are going to have a look at we are going to have a look at how the second page which is four tips to help you determine if two triangles are congruent there are four simple tips uh, you might have learned this uh, already as well uh, last year but then we will go over again and then at the end we'll look at a uh, couple examples of uh, to see if you actually get it or not okay so four tips tips are uh, each of them uh, they are in your keywords okay so first is your side 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 second is your side angle side third one is your angle side angle and the fourth one is right angle hypotenuse and then side so what does this mean so let's look at side 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 okay what that means is the uh, to remember that as long as the uh, the two triangles actually fulfill any of these four tips criteria, it is a congruent triangle. So the first one, side side side. What that means is the three sides of a triangle are equal in length to the three side of the other. That means they have to be the same. So for example, if you look at this, this thing means. They are the uh, this is one length that indicates that it uh, has the same length. So A B it means A B and D E. If they've been labeled like that the same way, without look even a value, you know that symbol means they have the same uh, value. Okay, if you just look at uh, A C, A C has three script a uh, three uh, line and df has three line that means they have the same value and bc has two line and ef has two line so that means uh each of these a b a c and a b c they all have different length but however if you match it to the uh, to the, the congruence triangle that should all match okay each of them should all match that's why it is called side 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 because 
uh, you have to make sure that two of the triangle, if they are congruent, they have to have the same uh, length at each in. Uh, I mean length on each side. Okay, so uh, if let's say just for uh, demonstration purpose, I put uh, four, five, and six. Let's say they're all centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. So if A B has uh, four centimeters, in order to be a congruence, uh, B E has to be four centimeters. And obviously, they have to be five centimeters for EF and six centimeters for EF. Is that is that uh, uh, does that actually clear up your uh, understanding a little bit more? I hope it does. If make sure you write down the notes, so you uh, can ask me any question you need uh, during our lesson. Okay. The second one, the second tips to uh, see if two triangles uh, uh, are congruent is side angle side. What that means is, uh, now that you know side means uh, they have to have the same side, uh, it is what it means. So you have to look at the side here. So B, A, B, A, B has, uh, has this. Okay, you know A, B, and B, E. Both of them have the same one, so they have the same length, so which is the same side. So side angle, angle is here, angle is here. Look at this angle. So that means that angle, this angle is let's say if it is fifty degree. I mean that was way more than fifty. So make it for hundred and. Let's say 120, alright? So that means this has to be 120 degree. And C is 5 centimeters, and that one is 5 centimeters. And that one is uh, 4 centimeters. They can't be the same because they then been labeled differently. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Chan has been having a uh, hay fever for the last couple of days. And it, it, it doesn't feel very well. So, look at this. So, side angle side means if you look at if this is not given, this line is not given, not given. So, you have to look at side. So, 4 centimeters match the other one angle, which is 120 and 120. It match and the last one B and C is five centimeters and E and F is five centimeters. So side angle side they all match 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 match. That means it is a congruent triangle. Okay. And the third one angle side angle. Uh, this time instead of side angle side, it, you look at angle and then you look at one side and you look at angle. That has to be a continuous. You can't just make sure you can't pick opposite okay so for example here look at this uh, side angle side angle this refer to this angle which is your this angle and then side which is that okay the length of that okay it means the length of all of this okay sorry and <coughs> angle which means this angle Okay, so let's make a number again. So I will put that as uh, that will that looks like thirty five degree, and that look like twenty five degree. This angle look like twenty five degree, and that is ten centimeters. So if you compare it to the and uh, the congruent triangle. That means that has to be 35, all right, which it is because they have the same color. And this one is X, which is 25, the other one 35, and that one is 10. So from there, start angle, side angle, it is a congruent triangle because they have the same. Remember, you can't compare, you can't use that side, okay, it's a no-no. And you can't use that side. Okay, it has to be uh, 
in between the two angles that you are comparing to because it is angle, side, and then angle. So you have to look at the x first angle followed by sec uh, side and then look at the second angle continuously, which is in this case it is. Look at this, that one first, and then look at this man, and then that angle. Okay? Third one is uh, applicable for right angle triangle, okay? Because as you can see, there's right angle and the hypotenuse and then side. As we know, hypotenuse and right angle only present in right angle triangle. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, it has a short form of our HS, which is right angle, hypotenuse, and side. So that means you have to look at the right angle, which is 90 degrees right here, okay? And then you have to look at the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is the longest side, which in this case is that one. That is your hypotenuse. So in this case, that is your hypotenuse. And then look at the uh, hypotenuse. Oh, it's just triangle, triangle, and hypotenuse side. So both triangles are right angle and the hypotenuse of and other side of uh, a rectangle are equal. So that means we have to look at the other side, which is in this case that one. So to do that, to you do that, you have to look at the right angle first, and then which is nine degrees. So both of them has a right angle. So that means both of them are right angle triangles. And then look at the hypotenuse. So let's say the hypotenuse is fifteen centimeters, and that means this has to be fifteen centimeters to be uh congruence and if and also last criteria is look at this length all right so this length is let's say eight centimeters and that means that has to be eight centimeters so these two is a right and is a congruence right in the triangle all right to to repeat right angle triangle hypotenuse and then side so that means you have to look at right angle and then Make sure both of them have right angles, and then look at the hypotenuse. Make sure that they are both the same length, which in this case 15 centimeters. And then look at one of the sides, which in that case it can be either one. Okay, just find out one that actually is presented to you. Remember, sometimes they can flip the angle around. Okay, you need to touch that means you have to use uh, your mass a bit, 180 tech, whatever, which I will show in the next one, uh, the, in the example. So, so we have uh, uh, one example right here. Hope you written four of these, all four of these tips down to help you because we will do some practice in class. So, example one, are the following pairs of triangles congruent? So, let's look at A, which is that one, that two triangles, triangle A and triangle B. Okay, A triangle one and two. So, in this case, what is given to you is, so we have uh, 24 uh, and two side okay so what that means is I mean two angles one side so you can use you can actually use uh, I want you to actually I'm not gonna talk right now you actually need to I gave you the hints you just need to go to the four tips and actually find out which one is actually given and where you can use it Alright, uh, you can pause the video for a second. Alright. Now, I'm going to review you the answer. So, here you have angle and the angle. In between, you have the length. So, it tells me straight away I can use the third one, which is angle, side, angle. Okay. So, in order for the other triangle, which is triangle 2, to be that, you have to make sure it has 88 degree angle, followed by 24 side, centimeter side, and then a 57 degree 
angle. So let's see. So 24 is right there. 88 is here. And that is 35, which means uh you see this is what I mean. This is not given. So you know this is 88 and which is here. Okay, we use this one. You, and there's 24 here. Tick. You have to make sure this one is 57 degree. Okay, if it is, that means they are uh, actually congruent. So, but it's not given. What do you do? You have to actually use subtraction. As we know, uh, the total angle of a triangle is 180, right? So you have to take 35 off and then take 88 later. Okay, <coughs> we'll do one step at a time. 145, okay. And then you have to take 88 degree. Seven. Fifty-seven. So give you fifty-seven degree, which is that one. So that will be fifty-seven degree because that's what's left to be answered. So if you look at it side, uh, angle side angle, there are both angle side angle. That I mean, the number is uh, fits. Uh, into the the triangle A, triangle one and two. Sorry, they are they have the same, and uh angle side angle. So it is a congruent. Okay, so this is, uh, congruent triangle. Okay, because both of them uh share the same value. And what about the bottom one? So bottom one we have uh. Uh, 67, 36, and 72. Okay, so which one do you think out of the four tips uh, criteria needs to be uh, we can actually use? I will give you uh, two seconds to think. You can pause the videos if you uh, don't want to listen to the answer and want to try it out yourself. I mean, challenge yourself a bit. So what we can use here is side angle side, all right, which is the second one. Side angle side, okay. The reason why it is because uh, this is the side, this is the first side, and this is the first angle, and this is the second side. So that means the other one has to be the same, uh, has to have the same. So let's see. It here it has thirty six. 72 and 30 uh, I mean 66 72 and 36 degree but the degree is right there it should be here isn't it I mean the uh, the 36 degree should be here 36 degree should be here but it is not so in order to fit that because you remember you can't hit any uh, you can't Randomize it. It has to follow one after another. So, in order for this uh to be congruent, uh the thirty six needs to be right there. Alright, it can be there. Okay, and for the in this case we cannot actually calculate the this side, and we can't actually calculate that because one eighty take thirty uh. Take thirty six uh will give you one hundred and forty four. Okay, but you can't so that means these two are one forty four. Uh but you can't find out what it is exactly. So in this case the side is correct and that side is correct, but the angle is incorrect because it is not thirty six and they put the 36 there okay so this is not congruent 
Uh, that's not congruent, not congruent triangles. So, I'm gonna stop here uh, because I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, I'll make another video continuing a few different, uh, to, I mean, to further explain how this works. This is just a brief introduction into your congruent triangle and similarity. Okay, so please go through these videos if you need to. And remember, these are just this you should make you meant to know this uh, because it has been taught in year eight. I'm not sure if you uh, actually still remember, but this is the revision for it. Okay. So thank you guys for watching, uh, leave any comments below or you can write it and tell me in class and hope you guys had a great uh, day, peace out, have a good one.